Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I got back from the gym today and when I came home, LT Wright had sent me on that next gen that I was talking about last week. Now, I have no experience with this knife yet and it's just a, an, an initial impression on the knife itself. So, this is the Genesis. Uh, you see me using this all the time. This is the one with the DWX sheet that came last week. And uh, I'm very happy now, nearly a year since I've been appointed a brand ambassador with LT Wright. Now, when I recommend a knife for you guys, uh, I don't take it lightly and I take a huge responsibility in recommending stuff for you because people are going out and they're spending their hard earned cash. And um, LT Wright, the Genesis knife, made it onto our logo, Eagle Ridge Survival logo. Over a year before we, we were ever anything to do with the company, it's just a knife that I use and I knew it was really, really good. So I have been for a long period of time in search of what I consider a really, really good neck knife. And neck knives, they're, they're, they're always lacking. And to, to date, with the exception of this one, there's only one other knife I've seen that I thought was really, really good, and that was an Allen Wood uh, neck knife that my friend Gary has. How you doing, Gary? So. Here we have the Genesis, as you know, it's a four and a quarter inch blade. I'm just giving you a comparison of these two, just to give you an idea. Now, I'm gonna resheat the Genesis. I'm just gonna go through this with you. And why I feel that it's a really good neck knife and what makes it better than the other offerings. So LT, to make everything high quality, okay? So just because it's a neck knife, it's not forgotten about and it's not just this thing that we have to have in our line. I have very large hands and this knife, I can tell you now, is superb in my hand. I could use this for a long period of time carving. Now for me, what is what would be the main purpose of a neck knife would be cutting out notches for, um, in fireboards. When I'm cutting out that slice of pie for a fireboard or when I'm making a fire stick for the spindle. So I need a knife that not only is comfortable in my hand, but is big enough to fill my hand because sometimes it's put a lot of pressure when you're cutting out that slice of pie out of your fireboard. And if you have a just a steel handle or a very small handle, it starts sticking into you. You know, you need, you're going to be using these things day in, day out for a long period of time. So basically, it's a, it's a mini Genesis in a flat grind. It's A2 steel. It has that superb 90 degree spine, like you expect with all of LT Rice knives now fish eye bolts so it's, it's built to the standard it's a neck knife built to the standard of a quality um bushcraft knife you see that spine is that whatever way they do the spine it's just incredibly sharp i'll show you on a fair rod now in a minute now i haven't really used i i had it about 20 minutes and within 20 minutes when i got home from the gym i had done a fire by friction i'd i had notched out a fireboard i'd made a spindle so i can tell you initially it is going to work it just works like a mini genesis uh, and it's definitely going to serve the purpose for me um, as a, a neck knife. It comes with the JRE, that's a standard with a, with a lot of the knives that LT Wright does. Beautiful little sheet. Um, I will probably just carry it as a neck knife like that and probably connect a ferro rod to it. Now, neck knives have failed me in the past because of the handle. The handles have been tiny on them. But another area that a lot of neck knives that I had hoped for didn't work out for me is the blade is just that little bit too short. So this is, I, I'm, I'm guessing, a three inch blade. And that's just about right for me because if you have a blade that's around two inches and it has a, 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 a rounding off here, when you're cutting fireboard, it slips off the fireboard and you could cut yourself very easily. But this is just your, it's basically a three inch cap part. And uh, it was very intuitive for me to use coming from a Genesis anyhow. So, I'm just going to grab my ferro rod now. It's a fantastic day here today, and it really looks like spring has sprung. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to be discarding the swan dries soon. The temperatures are well up today. So, this is my uh, trusty old light my fire. And uh, it's really, really good to have 
a good spine on a knife not just for striking ferro rods but look at that not just for striking ferro rods but also um, like I mean if you're descaling a fish it means you don't have to use the edge of your blade for it uh, if, if you're preparing tinder you know scrap, sc scratching fa uh, fat wood and scraping it down uh, it's good for all this so there's a multitude of uses for uh, a 90 degree spine on a bushcraft or survival knife other than just a ferro rod um, I have a little bit of jute here, so I'll just give it a, a try. So it was straight into service anyhow, and uh, so far my initial impressions on it is it's absolutely fantastic. There you go, first strike. You couldn't ask for more. But um, we're going to be using this over the coming days, and there will be another video up probably within the next week when I have used it more. Um, but in it, my initial impressions, it's just so comfy in the hand, um, and it's it's usable. And uh, I can't say any more than that. I know I'm going to really get on really well with it. And like I said, I'm not promoting LT Wright because I'm the ambassador for LT Wright. I'm telling you guys that LT Wright is a good investment of your hard-earned money. Um, and I still stand by, without question, the best bushcraft knife in the world is without, in my thinking, without question, a Genesis. So guys, we'll be back on to you during the week and uh, we'll let you know how we're getting on with this. Thanks for traveling by. See you next time.